Okay, my gosh. Everything is just left in here. And there's a swimming pool here. This is definitely a death trap mansion. Is there anything in it? It's messed up. There's a shotgun shell here. I bet there has to be a gun somewhere. Now what you don't want to do is to never walk in the middle. That is so sketch. I was just sinking in like that. <laughs> Yo, what's going on Ron fam? Hope you guys have been having a wonderful week. If you're new around here, my name is Steve Ron and we're on Epic Adventures. And today, I'll be taking you guys to this incredible abandoned mansion that I nicknamed the Abandoned Serial Killer's Mansion because rumors say that a serial killer used to live here and this was his home. Now this happened around the early 2000s and when the wife found out, she left her husband and took her kids with her. Eventually the husband went to jail and I believe he's in jail right now and I believe the person taking care of the mansion now is the grandfather of the serial killer. Which is totally neglected by the way, the place is crumbling, it's falling apart, but it's still a time capsule and everything is still left inside, which I'm quite happy about. The place is completely overgrown outside, but I think it's being used as a junkyard because there's so many vehicles left there on the property. It's quite sad though because when you explore this place, it's actually very beautiful inside and you can kind of see how amazing it would have been to live in this home. It was definitely a fun explore for me, but quite a dangerous one as well. But I hope you guys enjoy this video. Also want to mention one more thing. I've currently ordered the Wander hoodies. They're being restocked and they'll be available on the website very, very soon. So be on the lookout for them. I cannot wait to drop these again. You guys have been asking me all the time, when will these be back in stock? And they're finally coming and I ordered a lot. So they should be able to last the entire year. But I really think they might sell out easily because I think I ordered 200 of these and there's like over 500 people backlogged on the waiting list to get one of them. So yeah, once these drop, I just want to say you guys have to cop them quick before they're all sold out yet again and who knows how long it might take for me to get them back because I think it's been more than two years so far <laughs> so these are quite popular and they're one of the best hoodies probably my favorite hoodies I've ever worn but enough of that hope you guys enjoy this video I will see you guys at the very end all right everyone so I've just been walking through so much bramble right now, trying to get to this mansion, but look. There's two cars right here. There's like a tractor over there. Sometimes it's really tough to get into these abandoned places. You have to go through so much. Oh, there's another car over here. No way. We just made it to the building. Look how overgrown it is. Jeez. And there's a swimming pool here. Well, the whole front, well, the windshield's been smashed. And this is a Rover 75. Jeez, check out that side. be pretty nasty to swim in. Gosh. It's all green. All the algae. I think this right here must have been like a hot tub. What do you think? This is like a little pool right here too? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Maybe for kids. Maybe for kids, yeah. I think there's another pool for Can the kids. Still water in there and all that's just sort of like growing on the top of it. I don't think so. Yeah. Nah, it is literally just a shallow pool, isn't it? Yep. We never really got to check out this side. But it looks pretty clean. As if someone's kind of using this abandoned place. Could be wrong. 
Whoa, what the hell? What? Isn't this for like dumpsters? Wow, there's a workbench. Oh my God, it's a huge tractor trailer. Let's try to find the entrance. we're starting off here we're gonna try to take a look and scout the area make sure everything else is okay because this just looks like a death trap haven't explored one of these places in a while yeah I like to categorize like my abandoned places things such as time capsules architecture death traps haunted and this is definitely a death trap mansion we gotta be careful It says dining room. Each door has a label. I just found a safe, Steve. No way. The size of the safe. It's almost as big as me. Jeez, right. Is there anything in it? Oh, I can't open the door because it's um, it's seized shut. But you can kind of. Yeah, let's see if you guys can see anything. So far, it's just pitch dark in there. So hard to see. Well, I tried to show you guys, but yeah, we're unable to open it. It's just way too rusty to shut. I mean, this place had to be abandoned for hundreds of years. All right, let's see if this leads anywhere. Oh, it's locked. Look at that. This is a nice leather jacket. Must be good quality, you know? Sure, it must have been worth something. Oh my god, I thought that was a real bone for a second. That must be just like a dog toy. Must have had a big dog. Yeah, the floor is just falling apart. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a grandfather clock right there. Amazing. I mean, everything is still left in here. You got the books all stacked up as if time stopped. This must have been like a lounge or a living room area. I know that, I know the door said dining hall, but this doesn't really look like a dining hall. Kind of looks like the living room. But I guess that's the dining table right there. Such a shame. Must have been so grand and beautiful back in the day to have your lunch or dinner here. There's a safer way around. And check out this cabinet. You can tell they must have been so beautiful. Yeah, right here. Oh man, too sketchy. fireplace that is you have a VHS player some really nice plates and I think there's some relics over there too oh wow almost missed it but right over there behind this mess is a piano I wonder if we can cut across here to see it Please don't fall. There we go. That's it. I thought I heard something growling. Could be an animal somewhere here, to be honest. 
That's a beautiful piano. Look at the frame on it. I really want to open the windows and get some light in here. As you saw outside, it's all closed up. Lovely red curtains. Look at this. We have a book about postage stamps. Let's keep moving forward. So I have a feeling the entrance was down this way because you have this rack right here, which had probably his keys hanging on that, his jackets hanged up here, his hat. Yeah, this must be the main entrance. Yeah, someone put a nail on the doorknob as if it's like a trap. It's messed up. Yeah, looks like they locked the door. Man, it must have been a grand looking entrance. Now look at it. set this up as the base be good to keep the camera gear here i don't want to be too heavy with my backpack while exploring this place you know wow look at that fireplace it has carvings even has like a person's face carved into it unbelievable it's been a while since i've explored a time capsule mansion like this in the uk what's the <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. The state of this piano. Don't want to be touching that. I think that's like all mold. Jeez. There's a newspaper right here. Dating back to 1989. This is a beautiful sofa. Look at this, you have some artwork. Probably from their kid. Oh my gosh. This is a pretty cool ornament. It's like carved right into it. Like it's, it's like a pop-up book. Wow, that's so neat. Hmm. Oh, it's a photo. Wow, you can tell that this is such an old photo. It's like the wife and her baby. Piano sheets. There's a shotgun shell here. I bet there has to be a gun somewhere laying abandoned. It's unbelievable how this fireplace looks. You even have the coal still there. As if it was about to be used. Maybe marble as well. Damn, it's so grand. You can just tell that this family was wealthy. Last but not least, they had this TV. Hitachi brand. All right, so that's the tour of this room. Let's start heading outside. But first, look at the door too. You can tell it was custom made. It has carvings and look at the lock. So beautiful. All right, guys. 
We are moving onward and heading upstairs. though I love the light that's giving us right now but I think it's relatively safe because if you look underneath it's not that destroyed so I just gotta be extra careful now what you don't want to do with steps like this is to never walk in the middle you want to walk on the side and I'm going to hold on to the rail over there. Yep. Easy does it. where you want to be careful because I saw underneath that it was kind of crumbling. And that leads to the collapse area, which looked like it was a bedroom before. Let's take a look at this on the opposite side. It's a bedroom too. And my gosh, everything is just left in here. And we got some photos of probably the family that used to live in here. It was definitely a guy that stayed in this room. There's so much shotgun shells up here. And they're brand new too. Now to be honest with you, if that other room collapse, what makes you think that this room won't? I'm not gonna try to walk too far. I mean, you can pretty much see everything from here. Just loads of junk. <laughs> Such a huge mess. This is the coolest bit though. Wow, they're heavy. They're not even used. These are brand new. Looks like a, a notebook. Quiet corner. Hmm. Maybe there's a gun around here somewhere. It would be hard to find, that's for sure. I'm not gonna take my chances, guys. I want to be a good role model for anyone watching this. And it's just not worth risking your life when you explore abandoned places. Um, so it's better to be safe than sorry. Wow, that's a great stairway shot. Love how derelict it looks. Oh my gosh, and the green wallpaper too. So sick. Straight out of a video game. Be careful, bro. Like, that is so sketch. I was just sinking in like that. We're going to this room next. Gosh, it's so dirty. Wow, this room is the most hoarded so far. Ah, gross. Seeing the wife or some female stayed in this room. Because you have a bunch of women clothing and some purses here. Got 
so much yarn on the ground here. So much glass too. That door leads to the other bedroom we were just in. But in front of it is like this cabinet, so we definitely can't go through there. It's unbelievable how the vines are just getting in now. Hang on, as I'm walking back, I just found some photos. <laughs> I don't think too much, it looks like they went to like some fair. Is there a date on it? Nope. I might have found the owner. I think that's his gym card. I'm gonna blur that out. It says fit and 50 plus. Must be a type of gym. I wonder if it's still around. It says valid until 130607. able to get a cross over there. What'd you just find? It's literally a photograph of this house. No way. When it was being lived in, look. Wow. How amazing is that? It's really beautiful. And how much bigger does it look? It's so much bigger. Honestly, I didn't know it was that big. I feel like we're just exploring a piece of it. A piece of it, totally, yeah. I wonder where we are right now. Uh, top hmm. left bedroom, I think. Over here? Over here, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Damn, you wouldn't have ever thought because like no. everything's just so overgrown. No, you can't even see half of it. It's Surrounded by thorn it. bushes too. No. Well, he just said that the furthest he went was to the steps and he didn't bother checking because he didn't have his gear with him. So I guess we'll do it. I mean, it looks like people created like a little bridge here. to the left side which I don't really want to bother doing I'm too scared of the left it's just all collapsing everything's collapsing over there hmm I'm not gonna bother guys I mean that right here is sinking down too it's, I can tell by the wall so definitely not safe and you can tell that water's leaking and probably rotting the wood so yeah I'm gonna tell Colin not to do that too I just noticed right by the window here, it's just full of shells and rocks. They probably collected this when they went to the beach or something. See what I mean? Wow, there's even like some sea urchins right here. This probably holds lots of memories for the family that used to live here. Spending some family time, going to a nice relaxing beach. Look at this shell. Well, guys, well, I just came back here and I just realized the door we tried to open right next to the the big safe. Well, you can kind of see it through here. <sighs> Looks like the kitchen. And I'm not even going to dare trying to crawl my way up there. Yeah. So, yeah this place is dangerous, as you can see. Crumbling apart especially on the left side of the building.
right, everyone. I just want to say thank you so much to make it to the very end. And if you enjoyed the content, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification button bell. I really enjoyed exploring this place, but it was super dangerous. And gosh, I did not expect that there'd be so much dust in there. But it kind of makes sense because the windows were just closed off and everything was just crumbling apart. So yeah, I just wanted to get out of there quick, but I did my best to show you guys what it was like inside. I really hope you guys liked it. My throat definitely felt funny after that exploration. By the way, guys, I just want to say that, you know, I feel like I've let you guys down. My uploading hasn't been perfect at all these past few weeks. I think my views are quite low, lower than I've ever seen in ages. And that's definitely because of myself. I've been thinking about a lot of things lately, and I'm just trying to figure out what's best for my future. So I hope you guys can understand and be patient, but I'm definitely coming back in full force very, very, very soon. I have so many trips planned. I just want to go really hard. I always say that. Had a slow month, but we're definitely going to get it back up. I just, from the bottom of my heart, I just want to say you guys are the most amazing supporters. And thank you for being there for me. Be on the lookout for the hoodies. They'll be on the website very, very soon. And yeah, I'll see you all next time. Peace and thanks for watching.